Hello everyone, welcome to today's video and today's video is extremely important because again it circles around the topics that you mostly get for interviews and uh, what topics we are going to discuss today, we are going to discuss uh, in a small snippet uh, what are the questions that are asked for uh, CRE that is chemical reaction engineering interviews uh, where you are generally expected to know chemical reaction engineering stuff in the interviews. So what kind of questions do generally come? Uh, well, let me be very clear, the industry doesn't want you to know big big equations so ETD those kind of uh, die when dropped how is going to be the trajectory of it and uh, you know how it's going to react and how it's going to travel is something that they might not ask or go into the details of it but you need to know the basics of chemical reaction engineering for sure what do I mean by the basics and a bit advanced so first of all you need to know the basic equation inflow minus outflow plus minus generation or depletion is equals to accumulation if it is a steady system accumulations term will be zero if there is a chemical reaction happening so there will be a generation or a depletion depletion of one element means the generation of the other element so whatever is coming in whatever is going out what kind of uh, reactions it is having in between what is the heat generated in the system heat balance and the mass balance of the entire system comes from the basis of chemical reaction engineering what is the kinetics of the chemical reaction engineering whether it's a second order reaction or a third order reaction and accordingly you know how do you write the rate equation that is something that you you know study in class 12 chemistry and chemical reaction engineering you know has the most resemblance to uh, chemistry you know when we talk about chemical engineering many people have the perception that chemical engineering is chemistry but chemical reaction engineering is the only subject which has a little bit touch of chemistry other than that no other subjects do have chemistry so if you're really uh, enthusiastic about chemistry chemical reaction engineering is the thing for you but apart from basics of chemistry how do you apply that to design reactors is very very important so your uh, uh, balance equation any kind of balance be it mass balance or heat balance in a reactor is extremely important to form the equations or uh, design of the different types of reactors now what are the different types of reactors that you must be knowing CSTR PFR uh, batch reactor that is BR, uh, packed bed reactor PBR, fluidized bed reactor. These are the must knows. These are the things that comes out every day where and how they are used. Why in a catalytic reformer you use a kind of reactor that you use and why not the other kind of reactor? Where do you use the CSTR? What is a dead zone in a uh, reactor system? Uh, you know, uh, how does a system act? Whether a PFR is a steady state process or not, whether a batch reactor is a steady state process or not, what is semi steady state? Uh, what is a uh, a complete steady state process or what is a batch process which is not a steady process all of these things you will have to understand you know uh, basically what happens in chemical reaction engineering you need to know the basics of all the reactors the design basics of all the reactors the design basic equations of all the reactors and where does this basics of equations do come from so that you can change you know as and when required according to the problem statement you can change the requirements so this is the basics apart from this you need to know molar balance mass balance you need to know volumetric flow rate mole mass and volume these three things how they are correlated with one another what is the density function how do the molecular mo weight come into action because these are one of the utmost required uh, things in the industry when you move into an industry maybe you will be required to design the reactors if you are in a consultancy design consultancy firm then definitely that is of utmost importance but if you work in a manufacturing industry like the things we do their heat balance mass balance and particularly this molar uh, conversions mass to mole conversion uh, mass flow rate to molar flow rate or volumetric flow rate to mass flow rate and volumetric flow rate to molar flow rate these conversions are extremely extremely important so you need to understand uh, you need to have it on your fingertips the uh, significance of density molar mass all of these things together and this is what constitutes chemical reaction engineering as a whole so that sums it up what you would be requiring for chemical reaction engineering interviews if you do all of this you will be most prepared you know there are very few things that is out of the domain of this and you don't need to mug up those big equations you just need to understand the origin of this chemical reaction engineering equations so just to summarize the reactors the design of it the basic equations the basic heat transfer mass transfer of reactors and finally the molar mass and volumetric flow rate equations and how do you convert to one another and how do you apply the basic equations to the practical problems and where do you use what kind of reactors and why do you use it there is of utmost importance if you are sitting for a refinery every unit of refinery you need to know what kind of where do we use fluidized bed reactor where do we use CSTR where do we use uh, batch reactor what kind of reaction is polymerization do we use a batch reactor for that if we use a batch reactor 
what is the statistics how do we use the catalyst you need to know the functionality of the catalyst how do the reactants uh, go born on the catalyst surface and then reacts on the surface what is the you know work of an activator those all things you need to know need to practice need to profess for chemical reaction engineering i think that mostly sums up the chemical reaction engineering domain if you like this video like it share it with your friends subscribe to our channel we will bring more videos like this on different kinds of domains and gathering the expertise to attend the interviews of the same. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you very much.